Welcome back to another video. My name is Stephen Foster, and today we're talking about the Kindle again. Three ways I use my Kindle that is not for reading books. I found this kind of interesting. I found a lot of friends asking me about the Kindle ever since I've made a few Kindle videos and gone kind of like all in on the Kindle as of last year. But then I started using my Kindle more for things that just wasn't reading books. And yes, I know I'm still rocking the paper white editor Kirk. Hercules, the Greek god of editing, for this channel at least, took the base model on his trip to New York, so um, still rocking the paper white. But whether you have a current generation paper white or uh, the base model Kindle or some of the uh, older generations that at least have some of these features, you'll be able to do these things with your Kindle as well. All right, let's just get started with my favorite thing, I think, out the gate, which is I love using my Kindle sort of like my low tech morning device. Like when I wake up in the morning, I don't want to be reaching for my phone. I do want to read a little bit. Um, and then I'm usually like, I need to know what the time is. I want to know what the date is. And then the other thing I really like about my phone is I like being able to see what the weather is going to be for the day and maybe the next few days, depending on if I'm traveling. Easy enough to just pop open the web browser on the Kindle. I actually have a couple of like locations, like my home location and wherever I'm traveling to. Um, just save there on the web browser. I can just tap away, loads up a web page that gives me the weather. So I can already see like the date, time, weather, don't have to grab my phone to do that. That is super awesome. And a lot of these different websites um, that you can pull up on your Kindle, I think have better weather than the weather app on my phone at least. So take that with a grain of salt. You see, I'm trying to use my phone less and part of the reason I got a Kindle was so I could read books on something that wasn't my phone. And now this like this little feature, just being able to check the weather, have the date and time right all there accessible, something I wasn't thinking about when I first got the Kindle. But now that I've sort of integrated that into my morning routine, it's a game changer. It's a good time. You should try it. Let me know if you try it down in the comments below. And before I get to the next one, if you have yet to subscribe to this channel, go hit that button, hit the subscribe button, make it happen. Then you'll just get more awesome videos like this. So rad. The second thing that I'm really starting to enjoy about my Kindle is the ability to listen to audiobooks on it. You can pair Bluetooth headphones uh, easy enough to your Kindle. I just paired my AirPods to the Kindle. Um, and now I have an easy way to listen to audiobooks that doesn't require me to have my phone with me or be fiddling with my phone. A lot of times I'll like kick on an audiobook and then want to go do something like go do chores or maybe if I'm just like sitting around or even if I'm like doing something in like like, I don't know, working out. And then the next thing I know, I'm like scrolling through whatever and just like, it's, you know, the phone is such a distraction machine. But the second I queue up an audiobook on my Kindle, no distractions, just go for it. You can also add podcasts through Audible to your um, Kindle, which is kind of wild. So if you have a podcast that you particularly like that you want to have queued up, I'm also excited to see how this goes for travel. Because typically, like if I'm on a plane, the two things I want to do is either listen to an audiobook or read a book. And uh, before I would use the Kindle just to read the book, all my audiobooks, but in the past were over on my phone. But now that I have my audiobooks queued up on my Kindle, I can kind of just put my phone away um, and not like drain my battery on the flight and not have to worry about carrying extra batteries. Like the Kindle just seems like it can go forever. And if you want to help support this channel, I do have a link down below to sign up for Audible. Um, I do have like an affiliate link with them and I think Audible is great. It's one of the best ways I think to get audiobooks today. So go on and check that link down in the description below if that is something that you haven't done yet. So the final thing that I'm really digging about my Kindle that I didn't think about when I first bought the Kindle, it was just like, yep, yeah, ebooks, whatever, buy some books, you know, Kindle books on Amazon. I've been using more and more the feature of sending ebooks, um, sending just PDFs, sending uh, like little poetry books, little essay books. I've been reading, I've been reading some essay collections by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Um, I'm a big fan of the Transcendentalist. I read some essays by uh, Thoreau last year. And I think there's something really cool about having uh, not just all your books with you or some of your favorite books with you, but just having these little shorter form pieces of content, whether it's a blog post or whether that is a an essay or a collection of poetry. Getting into the Kindle and just popping something open and having something to read for five minutes that's not this like this tome, this massive 400, 500 page, even longer book, right? Like just something short and sweet has actually made it really enjoyable to use my Kindle every single day. Cause I know if like, okay, I'm not, I'm not feeling reading, you know, a chapter of this entire book. It's like, well, would you like to read just some like, just some good stuff, right? Whether that's poetry or like a little essay that lowers the barrier to entry for me where it's like, yeah, I would rather do that than scroll through 
Instagram for five minutes or, you know, be on Twitter, just kind of like scrolling, hoping to find something cool. I personally find a lot of these things on standard eBooks. Um, standard eBooks is not sponsoring this channel. I know I've mentioned them before. They're kind of this like, I think volunteer patron funded organization that takes a lot of out of copyright material, finds a way to get that into like a really beautifully formatted uh, file. I think they have EPUB files and some other files. You can go check them out. I'll link them down in the description below as well. But that's just a great way to find both books, but also collections of essays, poetry, things, things like that. And then you can obviously always send a PDF or a, um, an ebook file, an EPUB file. Uh, to your Kindle account, so that is really nice. Yeah, don't sleep on the short form content on your Kindle. That stuff is sometimes like, you know, the best stuff. That, those are some of my favorite moments of like, I'm sitting waiting somewhere, you know, airport or whatever, and just going like, yeah, I could I could just read a, something short real quick that um, I'm gonna enjoy. I think that's really nice. Leave a comment down below if one of these things is something that you're gonna try here, um, or something else that you use your Kindle for that is not for reading books, right? It could be reading other little things or it could be something entirely different. I don't know, leave it down below so we know. With that, if you have yet to subscribe to this channel, I'd be honored if you would. Thank you to everyone who already has. You guys are the best, you are awesome. Thank you so much. Be kind both in life and in the comments below and like this video to send good vibes across the internet. We'll do it again soon, later.